And that wraps up this special Christmas edition from here in the Doomsday Bunker. Now I'll be back at you in the new year with a new video to help you prepare for the end times. And remember, when the big day comes, you don't want to be unprepared. That's why I've stocked up my shelter with canned goods, bottled water, and everything else I'll need to make it through at least six months. And my New Year's resolution is to expand my supply to a full year's worth. Now, until next time, stay prepared. <gasps> we we wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. Ugh. What's so merry about it? Come on. Aren't you a little excited to see what Santa got you this year? Probably just more plastic crap that'll eventually find its way to the North Atlantic garbage patch. Okay, well. I just put the turk in the oven, so we should be eating about 3 o'clock. Great. Can't wait to savor the taste of our factory farm poultry pumped full of antibiotics. You know, I really wish you'd try and get into the Christmas spirit a little bit. Christmas spirit? Yeah, right. Look around you. Doesn't look like very many people are in the Christmas spirit these days, does it? I don't know. You might feel differently if we had children. You could experience the wonder of the season through their eyes. Who'd want to bring children into this awful world? Will you stop being so goddamn sour? Can't you just enjoy yourself for one day? Enjoy myself? Yeah. While the planet's hurtling toward disaster and humanity's on the brink of collapse? You know, you're always so concerned with the state of the world. I just wish you could appreciate what you have while we're here. There you go. Bury your head in the sand. I wish I could be so blind to the reality that's staring us right in the face. But I guess people just don't want to hear the truth. You know what? It's a beautiful day outside. Why don't you go out and enjoy the sunshine for a while? Yeah. 70 degrees on Christmas Day. Thank you, global warming. Maybe we'll burn to a crisp by New Year's. Christmas spirit, she says. Uh-huh. Try to enjoy yourself. Yeah, right. Appreciate what you've got while you're here. Uh-huh. <sighs> Look at all this traffic out here. Even on Christmas Day, you just you can't get away from it. This is an emergency alert. Repeat, this is an emergency alert. Astronomers at an independent research base in India have identified an asteroid estimated to be 38 miles wide and traveling toward Earth at 30,000 miles per hour. The asteroid, which researchers have named Morna, will make contact with Earth on December 30th at approximately 5.11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time based on current modules, and is expected to have catastrophic impact that will effectively mean the end of life on Earth as we know it. While government officials continue to deny the existence of the asteroid, it's cited by independent researchers supports information obtained through the data leak released online early this morning by an unnamed NASA whistleblower who subsequently committed suicide. We will provide updates on the situation as soon as we have more information.
really like to make the trip to see my parents today. I just can't believe it's going to be the last time we get to see each other before the end. I wouldn't be so sure about that. What do you mean? Well, I've been doing my own research online. Of course you have. And they say that this whole asteroid thing is just a lot of fear and panic over nothing. In fact, my sources say it's not even going to make contact. Just another overblown crisis designed to get us to give up more of our freedom in the name of security. <sighs> yep, just a lot of fear-mongering. Why, there's more turmoil in people's minds than anything coming out of that sky. Just watch. December 30th is going to roll around, and nothing will happen. And the day after that, they'll be setting up Times Square for Dick Clark's New Year's Rockin' Eve with Ryan Seacrest. What? Just sounds like you're the one with his head buried in the sand now. Okay, I just got off the phone with my buddy Lou. He said he's got 45 pounds of sorghum he's willing to trade, but I need to get over there in the next 30 minutes. What are you going to do with 45 pounds of sorghum? Well, it's for our supply stash. You see, with this acquisition, we'll have enough food and water to get us through at least six months in the emergency shelter. You mean our tool shed? Well, yeah. <laughs> and what did you line the walls with that you think is going to withstand an asteroid strike? Well... It's not going to hit us directly. It's more an issue of fallout. But if we can wait it out, we'll survive. And then we can start again and rebuild civilization. Listen, forget the sorghum. It really doesn't matter. Let's just go for a walk. A walk? There's no time for that. We have less than 24 hours. Now I need to hurry up and get back so I can make sure the Wi-Fi signal is amplified to reach the shed. Well, guys, I guess this is the last update from the Doomsday Bunker, at least for a long time. I hope you've been paying attention, because now the end times are actually, really, finally upon us. This is the moment we've been prepping for. Now, I don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. No one does, but maybe in six months or a year, we'll reemerge from our bunkers stronger than before, and we survivors will be the ones to rebuild society. Hope you're stocked up for the long haul. Anyway, I guess there's not much more to say. Until next time, whenever that is, stay prepared. Okay, I've got the shelter all stocked up. All the supplies are moved in. But take a good, long, last look around for anything you want to bring with us. Because once that door is bolted shut, we're not coming out again for six months. Come on, we got to get moving. Okay, take one last look at the sky and then let's go. What's the matter with you? The asteroid's going to be here within an hour. Come here. Sit with me. Are you crazy? Do you want to die out here? Yes. I would rather face this death head on than cower in the darkness waiting for it to find us. But we, we've got all the supplies. We, we could last for six months out there, maybe eight if we stretch it. 
I know you've been waiting for this day for years now. That's not true. But now that it is here, you just have to accept that there is no amount of preparation that's going to save us. This is it. This is all that we have left. And I'd rather spend our last moments together enjoying something beautiful. <laughs>